Hi, Distance Learners. My name is Miss Ronigan, and I am so excited to do math with you today. We just did our whole group, and I hope you followed along the entire time saying everything out loud. Remember, we are going to practice those math routines each day to grow your brain even bigger. And now it's time to learn even more in math. To start, we are going to read this fun book together. It is extra special because there are no words. So we have to use our brain to look at the pictures and make our own story. Let's take a look at the cover of this page. It's called Anno's Counting Book. Here's the title. Now let's look at the pictures. Hmm, I see a lot of different things on this cover. Think in your brain, what do you see? I see two trees. See how those two trees are exactly the same. They're in a group together and there are two. Let's count them together. One, two. I see a group of three birds. They're really close to each other and they are the exact same. Let's count them. One, two, three. Ooh. I see the trees and there aren't very many leaves on the trees. I also see some people down here. They're wearing hats, maybe long sleeves. So I think it is fall, which means that it's not yet winter with snow, but it's getting a little bit colder, just like it will be soon. All right, let's read this story together. And we are going to have to look at the pictures to come up with our own story about what is inside. Here we go. Ooh, look at this number. This number is zero. Take your finger, say zero. Just like an O, it goes all the way around, touches on the top and touches on the bottom. Zero means nothing. And look, there is nothing on this page. Let's see what's gonna happen next. <gasps> look at that number. That number helps us figure out what this story is going to show us. This is the number one. Everyone say one. Let's look at the picture, see if we find one. <gasps> Over here, I see one fox. That means the fox is all by himself. He is also by one tree. That means the tree is all alone. I also see one bridge. <gasps> Over here, there is one here, one sun, one house. The number one means that these things are all by themselves. Let's see what's gonna happen next. I see the number. This is the number two. Take your finger, you go start at the top, go up, down and across, say two. Now, hmm, if the one meant that they were by themselves, Two is kind of like a partner. Do you see how there's two people up here? There's also two trees. Let's count them. One, two. Right in the middle of the trees, there's two little bunnies. Let's count the bunnies. One, two. So it's a group of two. What else do we see? Oh boy, down here, we see two people. Let's count. One, two. They also have two Trucks or cars, ready? Let's count them. One, two. There's two homes. One or buildings, one, two. They're groups of two. We also see these blocks over here. Let's count them together. We start at the bottom. One, two. So this page shows us the number two. That means it's just like a partner, like you and your best friend, or you and your teacher. Hmm. I wonder what number is coming next. First we had zero, then we had one, next two. What do you think is coming next? Maybe three. Let's see if we're right. Three. All right, get out your fingers. Say around the tree, around the tree. That makes a three. Let's take a look to see if we can find three things together on this page. 
I already see one. You take a look, see if you see one of three. I see right here, three flowers. Let's count them. One, two, three. That's a group of three. I also three, see three canoes. One, two, three. A group of three. Oh boy, over here, I see three homes. One, two, three. A group of three. Let's take a look at our blocks to see if they go up to three, two. I think they might. We start at the bottom. One, two, three. That is a group of three. Oh boy. I wonder what this next number will be. Four. Here is our four. Let's look on the page to see if we can see four of a group. I saw four fishies swimming in the stream. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. A group of four. I see four people over here. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. A group of four. Oh, I see four homes or buildings. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. I wonder if our blocks are gonna show four. Start at the bottom, let's count. One, two, three, four. We counted all the way up to the number four. I am so excited, so let's do one more. Are we ready? It is the number five. The number five looks like someone who has a neck, a big belly, and a hat on the very top. Let's take a look to see if we can find Something in a group of five. Just like your hand, you have five fingers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. I see this train. It has five things behind it. One, two, three, four, five. That is a group of five. Over here, I see five flags. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, a group of five. Let's look at our blocks. I bet they go up to five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That is a group of five. So this is called representing the number. Can you say it with me? Representing the number. Because in every page, they showed us a number. When they showed us the number four, there was things that were in a group. They were together, they were the same of that number, so of the number four. We're gonna keep counting from zero, one, two, three, four, five, to learn even more about these numbers. But now, I want you to either pause the video, which means you tap on the video and click the little button on the bottom so I freeze. And while the video is paused, I want you to go grab your math workbook. All right, click the pause button. I'll be here when you get back. All right, I'm glad you paused it. Now we're going to do this math workbook page together. So make sure you have it in front of you. You are going to look at this math workbook page. This is your whole math book. If you ask mom and dad, maybe really nicely, they can help you tear out some pages in the beginning or you can leave them on but I want you to go past all the front pages, if you have them, to page number three. Make sure it says number three in the corner and it has all of these cool animals on the cover. So this page right here, look on your book. Does your page look like this too? Awesome. You also need to get a pencil. So pause the video and grab a pencil. I'm gonna pause mine too and grab one. I'm gonna be so speedy and grab one really, really quick. <gasps> Woo, I grabbed my pencil too. All right, we are going to do some things to this page. So listen to the directions. First, it says draw a ring, which is like a circle. Do you see how I'm wearing my ring right here? It's a circle around my finger. So draw a ring around one barn. Hmm, I know one means that it's by itself. So I'm gonna look 
<gasps> There's one barn. I'm gonna take my pencil. We always write with this side. Hold it down low and draw one circle around the barn. You do the same. Next, it says draw a ring, a circle, around two chickens. So I know that's like a partner, they're the same. We have one, two. So I need to look for something that is just two of them and that they are chickens. Chickens are right here. I'm gonna draw my circle all the way around it. You do the same. So your page should look like this. We found one barn and two chickens. There is one more thing we have to do. It says draw a ring, a circle, around three cows. When we count them, one, two, three. It's more than a partner. Mm, cows go moo. Here they are. One, two, three. Draw my circle. Awesome. Now we have to do the back. Flip it over. All right, now we have the back. It says draw a ring, a circle, around two slides. Oh, slides are so much fun when there's two of them. Where do you see two slides? Okay, let's count. One, two. Draw a big circle all the way around it. Make sure you connect it so it's one big loop. Next, it says draw a ring around four swings. Hmm. I see a group of four swings right here. Let's count them together. Say it out loud with me. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna draw that circle. <gasps> now it says draw a ring around five children. Oh boy, these children are spread out a little bit, so we're really gonna have to draw this big circle. Here's five children. Let's count with me. One, two, three, four, Five, let's draw our big circle all the way around. Great. Now down here, we're going to count the number of birds and tell us how many. Together, so that means you're saying it with me out loud at home. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four birds. Let's practice drawing the number four. We start at the top, we go make an L up to the top again and a straight line down. That is the number four. Now you are all done with your math workbook pages today. You're gonna grab your iPad. This is the belly button right here. Click the belly button, go to Seesaw. When you're in Seesaw, look for the math page. When you're gonna take your math page, put your paper right in front of you. Hold your iPad up above, click the camera button. Hold it above to take a picture. It's gonna count down. It looks like a green button. Count down, so hold it down. It's gonna take it. It took. Then you're gonna take a picture of the back. Down here, you add a page, so click add. Now you get to take another picture. Flip it over. Make sure that it's still down on the ground in front of you. Click the camera button. Click photo. Hold it up in front of it, click the camera, and you have your other page. Click check, check when you're all done so your teacher can see your great work. Awesome job today.